Today on James Talk, we're going to talk about my favorite fake fragrances. Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Welcome back to J Royal, everyone. My name is James. In case you didn't know, when I first started collecting fragrances, I quickly realized the wonderful world of clones of colognes. There are several houses in the perfume world that are known for copying others. Rayanne Tradition, Versace, Bond Number no. 9, but my personal favorite is Armaf. Armaf fragrances allow me to own several niche fragrances, but I ain't paying those niche prices. Now I do. Now I have all kinds of niche. All kinds. For someone who isn't familiar with the process of samples and decants, fake fragrances or fragrance clones are really the closest you can get to getting that niche bottle in your collection. Altogether, I've owned about 15 different Armaf fragrances, but I've slowly replaced them with the real thing. There are four Armafs that I still hold on to to this day that I think are excellent, excellent fragrances and are very good alternatives to the original. The first one I've already mentioned in previous videos, Trey Nui. Trey Nui is essentially the Green Irish Tweed cologne. I will say, if you've ever owned Green Irish Tweed, whether it be a bottle or a decant, you will notice those subtle nuances that make it what it is. But for anyone else who's just picked up a bottle and sniffed it, you won't notice much of a difference here. This is an excellent alternative and I highly recommend it. And look at the details on this, this pleather. My next arm off, yet again, another fragrance that I've already mentioned, Club de Nuit Intense for men. This fragrance is your Eventus wannabe. I smelled this fragrance before I smelled Eventus. So I have a bit of a nostalgic sort of connection with this fragrance. I do honestly think it's a standalone fragrance. It has its similarities. It's definitely smoky, but it's more lemon. I got a compliment wearing this in the winter, four hours after applying across the counter at a Starbucks by a pretty young thing named Melissa. In the summer, I'll just grab a Ventus, but if it's a bit cooler, this is a great alternative. My next arm off in my collection is Club de Nuit Intense for Women. This is your Tom Ford Noir de Noir clone. A lot of rose. It's a very rose heavy fragrance. Not quite as dark as Noir de Noir. I'd say the rose is a little more prominent, slightly more synthetic, but still very, very pleasant. Longevity on this one is excellent. I applied this last night and wore it to bed, and during my aerobics class this morning, I could still smell whiffs off my chest. Now, just like Trey Nui, I think this is a close enough alternative that if you're not an uber fan of Noir de Noir, if you've never owned Noir de Noir, this is a great alternative. This is a very good proxy for Noir de Noir in your collection. Before I reveal my last arm off, I wanna tell you a little story. My dad, as you may recall from a previous video, grew up in the Soviet Union, was a fan of fragrances. His signature scent in the 90s was the original Jazz by Yves Saint Laurent. More recently, he gravitated towards one of my suggestions for him, Platinum Egoist by Chanel, a very masculine, fresh fragrance that really suits him very well. But believe it or not, the fragrance that he's been pulling for recently, Shades Wood by Armoff. Shades Wood is, in my opinion, one of the most polarizing Armoffs. It's 100% a love or hate fragrance. One side thinks it's niche quality. The other side says, what is this? Now, it's fairly difficult to understand when you first take a whiff, but man, it's so rich. There's so much going on with it. You got oud in here. It's very dark, a little bit of slight rose. The projection is godlike in the winter. I'd be on a job site in negative 20 degree weather and I'd be getting out of the car and my employees are getting out of their respective cars. From across the street, they'll catch whiffs of my fragrance and be like, whoa, what is that? It's good, man, it's good. Now, unfortunately, I don't think a place like Niche Essence would be able to sell you a sample of Shadeswood, but luckily it's cheap enough that you can just get a bottle. 
If you like darker fragrances, if you like woody masculine fragrances, if you like oud, blind buy this, guys. Blind buy it, check it out. You may regret it, but you only blind buy many times. <laughs> My highest recommended Armagh fragrance, Shades Wood. If you have any questions about Armagh fragrances, or if you have any experiences with them that you want to share, please let me know in the comment section below. All of your links to social media, guess what? They are also down below. And if you like what you see, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. Ring the bell. Today's goodbye song will be sung in the style of Damien Rice. And so it is, just like you said it would be. You said it would just be like noir to noir, and you were totally right. That's... Did you guys know that the correct pronunciation of Armoff is actually Armif? Shout out to Kevin Samuels!